Hello, God here. Although there are 100,000 gods worshipped on this rock we call Earth, so good luck guessing which one. In any case, I could be doing something incredible right now, but instead I'm going to tell you how to play Q, which stands for Cards, the Universe and Everything. You see, Q is a card collecting and battling game featuring all manner of matter throughout the universe. In case you think we're talking out of our gluteus maximus. Glutei maximi. Oh, never mind. We'll give you an example, shall we? You might build a strong frilled dragon deck boosting small cards like the power of zero. Grand Archer Yi and the Amazon Sloth, maybe topped off with Martin Luther King and Europosaurus. Or you might prefer a Power Ramp deck stuffed with Kyoto, Gridiron Football, a Winchester Rifle and a Hula Hoop. Yes indeed, it's all here. Unlike traditional card games, you build your own 18 card deck in Q. In fact, you can build lots of them to try out different strategies. Yes, strategies plural. You see, Q might look like it was created by a deranged chimpanzee, but it has near infinite depth. The key to Q is this. The deck you build is as important as how you play it. You can find cards for those decks through trading, in packs and special rewards, or via fancy features like fusion and crafting. Oh, and all cards have incredible and frequently silly facts lovingly scribed on the back. But be warned, everyone else is making their own 18 card decks too, so you'll need to choose the best cards to beat them. We'll dive into deck building in another video. Every Q card has an energy cost and a power value, and you can play up to three cards each turn, as long as you have enough energy to spend. At the end of a turn, your total power is compared to your opponent, and the highest power wins the turn. If you have the most power after three turns, you win the round. Win three rounds and you'll feel as euphoric as Ares on finding that Aphrodite didn't read her wedding vows. Ding dong. There's more to it, of course. Hundreds of special abilities, synergies, card combos, hidden effects and so on. But let's keep it simple. For now, when you're starting out, it is important to manage energy and think ahead. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a really good card but you don't have enough energy to play it yet, you might want to save some of your energy this turn. In fact, you might not want to play any card at all, particularly if you're going to lose the round anyway. Save your energy for the next round. Also, watch out for the arena bonuses. If you have two life on land cards in your hand and the next round is life on land, check the round counter at the bottom of the screen. Then you may want to save those cards for a healthy power boost. There you go! That's it! Looks easy, doesn't it? Easy to play, infinite depth, may contain nuts. Good luck, 007, and do be a dear and like and subscribe for regular updates and tips.